Hello, I'm Mark McDonnell. I'm the chairperson of Net Patient Network Ireland. We're a patient support organisation set up in 2012 to help neuroendocrine tumour patients and their families. I myself am a patient, and in this short video, we'd like to show you a little bit about how our organisation works and how we can be of help to you and your families. Our annual patient day event takes place early in November each year. This gathering is in Cork. We've used Dublin as a venue a few times. We've also been to Kilkenny. Admission is free. Attendance is open. Patients and their family and friends use the day as a chance to meet others with the condition and to get up-to-date information about the disease and treatment paths. A day like this, for me, it makes me to meet other people who have got the same problem as myself, so I'm not left alone. You get to meet the physicians, you get to meet the nurse, you get to meet all the oncologists around, other friends who are suffering like you in the same boat as yourself. So that makes you feel involved. You are not left alone. This helps to fight things like depression, you know, because if you are left alone with cancer, you are not finding yourself, nobody to talk to. You know, but if you come out, you find, I'm not alone actually, there are people surviving, so I should also fight like them. Well, the Net Patient Network serves to support patients. You get a lot of people coming to the conferences who are newly diagnosed, who are very, very fearful, and you can see them immediately taking comfort from the fact that they're surrounded by other people who are also Net Patients, who are looking healthy and well. A lot of people come to the conferences looking for advice about taking medication, their experience, or certain side effects of medication, how best to deal with those. So there's a great sharing. Um, it also is a great opportunity to um, liaise with uh, and hear from the doctors who are specialising in this whole area. Um, and there's a great sense, I think this is possibly unique, it's certainly unique in my experience, I think it's probably very unusual uh, in terms of any diseases in Ireland, that you have a tremendous relationship of trust and collaboration between the medics who are learning and interested uh, in this condition and the patients who are very active, who are very informed, and there's a great sense of trust between the clinicians and the patients. And I think the, the uh, Net Patients Network has helped to facilitate that. So I think it's something that will actually, you know, might ask your help as well, but to sort of put a little bit more pressure for more resourcing, I think. But Derek, I mean, uh, maybe you could expand on that. Yeah, well, thanks, Derek. So there's an organization in the country that our taxes fund called Cancer Trials Ireland. A fantastic website you can go on. The question and answer session is an important part of our annual Patients Day. The panel of experts, available to field questions, includes doctors from Ireland and abroad who are dealing with the disease. Obviously, I meet a lot of patients every week in clinics, but this relationship is a little bit different. Um, you hear some of the personal backstories, it's much more relaxed, people are quite confiding. Um, it's actually a, a real privilege, they tell you some of the backstories of their experience. I met a lady today who showed me a photograph of her husband who had died of a neuroendocrine tumour before services were properly set up in Ireland and she still comes back to this meeting every year because she feels connected to this diagnosis and wants to make a contribution in some way. Um, so it is a good opportunity for a doctor, it keeps us grounded, lets you know what people are thinking on the ground um, and I think it's important that the patients know that they're not just cases that we discuss at an MDT, that we know that they're people and that they have a contribution to make to their care and for advocating for service in the country. So there's a lot to be gained for us for participating in a day like today. When people are on them, the um, whole bile system slows right down and the gallbladder doesn't contract and that's why gallstones can form along that system. And if the patient is on the statin analog long term, that makes no difference because those stones just sit there and they're not being squeezed into any position where they can cause a problem. If they have to come off the analog because they're having a side effect of some other kind and that whole system wakes up again, sometimes then those stones could become symptomatic and that's why you know, having had the gallbladder out at the previous surgery might be helpful. It, it might give the doctor a bit more of a comfort level that they're not going to get into trouble afterwards. You are sitting up there kind of thinking, what are they going to ask? And, you know, am I going to be able to field the question? And you have to be a little bit sensitive too, because maybe some of these questions might be distressing to somebody in the audience. Again, there are a lot of people here who think maybe things might have been different if something was picked up earlier, if they'd mentioned a symptom earlier. And you've got to be sensitive to that. But 
actually it was very enjoyable. It's nice to be sitting up there with your team and we trust each other and we know each other's area of expertise. So there was no scrambling for the mic. Everybody knew who was the best person to answer that question. And, um, and the patients, you know, they, they're clearly coming with something that they want to ask and it's, it's an opportunity for them to get something maybe they wouldn't get in a clinic generally. So I think it, it works very well. It's good, good opportunity for everybody. Of course, you are still welcome to Uppsala, and uh, so we will not <laughs> refuse to, to see you there. But uh, I think it's good that uh, it has developed so well here in Ireland, and you can get high-class uh, care for, for neuroendocrine tumors. So I'm not going to have a long talk. I just say I am amazed that so many people are coming here and standing up for me. So thank you so much. And, uh... As a support organisation, we think it is important to have good, open relationships with all those who have a role in keeping us alive and healthy. Well, on a day like today, you see real people who take your drug and you see real benefits. And you see some people who are on it for years and some people who are only starting out. So it's actually for a person working in the industry who thinks they know what it's like to be a patient, actually until you speak to them and until you realise what they're going through, you really don't have an understanding. As well as organising the annual patient day, Net Patient Network does other work. Our website is a useful reference point for patients and their families. The address is www.netpatientnetwork.ie. It has lots of up-to-date information. We can also be accessed by Facebook. We are also constantly working behind the scenes, lobbying where it matters, in contact with individuals and organisations that can help to improve the range of services for people with our condition. I know that what got me involved was coming to the first, uh, for the first time to a net patient conference and I realised how many patients there were all around the country who didn't have the benefit that I had had of by pure accident. At the time my tumour was detected, it happened that one of the net specialists was on duty in uh, the hospital I was in that weekend. He spotted that it was a different kind of tumour, started a whole range of different uh, tests, and I was streamlined without knowing it right into the heart of the specialist team in St Vincent's. Um, I thought that was natural and normal until I met other patients. And I know my motivation for getting involved in the Net Patient Network was I want to do whatever I can to help get the word out there to patients, to GPs, to oncologists, that there is a specialist unit, this is an unusual disease, and to refer to the specialist unit. Every patient who has NETS is entitled to that specialist uh, treatment, uh, or at least that's, that's a specialist um, investigation to see if it, it is a NET. So that was my driver. Um, I've met a lovely group of people uh, involved uh, on the uh, NET patient network. We meet a few times a year. Um, they're brave, fun, uh, interesting people. Um, for my own part, professionally, I'm, I'm a lawyer, so I do a certain amount of work on getting us set up as a company and a charity and all of that. But we all uh, contribute what we can. For the record, we're a completely volunteer organisation. We're on the same journey as you, and we're your friends. And we really want to help you in every way we can.